everybody, how's it going? It's the Daily Shooter, and this is going to be a gear update. I know there's a lot of people out there that really appreciate long-term reviews. They like to see an item that's been used, that's been worn, that's been tried and tested over an extended period of time, and that's what I want to do for you today. I have a piece of gear that I've been using for just about two years now, and I wanted to give you an update on it because this is a fairly inexpensive piece of gear. This is something that I've used often. I've used it quite a bit. I've used it in different tests. I've worn it in different climates, and it's really gotten a lot of use. So now I can kind of give you my full opinion on what I think about it and how it holds up, especially for an item that only costs around, I think around $40 right now. You can find it on Amazon. I'll put a link in the description box. And what I'm talking about is the Condor Sentry Plate Carrier. This is, I think I did my first video on this about a year and nine months ago, maybe a year and ten months ago, something like that, was my first review video on it, and I was really happy with it at the time. But now that I've worn this with different plates, Defender Armor, AR-500 Armor, uh, it's you know been on different rigs, different setups, it's had uh, a bunch of different things that have been attached to it, and I've been using it for so long, I thought, you know what, this would be a good time to do an update because this has really surprised me. Again, this is a $40 plate carrier. There's nothing really too special about it, but there's also nothing wrong with it. It's made really well, it's held up great, all the fasteners, all the Velcro, even though I've been taking this thing off and on, all of the clips, uh, all of the molly webbing, all of the things that you need to work on a plate carrier work with this. Now I originally bought this because it is a very simple setup. It is extremely simple, there's not much to it, it's easy on, easy off. As you can see you just throw this over your head and you clip it in like this so there's nothing really on the sides. You just clip it in and you're good to go. It's a really easy to use plate carrier. Now what I've done is, because it comes completely uh, completely blank on the front, just some molly webbing, is I've obviously I've added a uh, Condor 3 mag pouch that you can see right here. So I have three AR-15 magazines. Uh, you can add whatever you want. Molly has just about everything available for it. And then I have a shotgun pouch on the front right here. When I'm not running a shotgun, I keep like a multi-tool, maybe glow sticks or whatever I need to put in here. Uh, as just kind of a utility pouch, but this is actually a pouch for shotgun shells. Again, I'll put a link in the description box if you're interested. And then the last thing that I added actually is uh, from Voodoo Tactical, and this is a hydration uh, pouch. So this hydration pouch comes empty, and then you can take your hydration bladder and you put that in here. So that's everything that I've done in order to upgrade this plate carrier. However, if you wanted to run it just completely blank with nothing and just keep a low profile setup, you could do that with this as well. But I, I really like it. I mean, I am just absolutely surprised with the quality of something that doesn't cost that much. I mean, plate carriers can get so expensive these days. I mean, hundreds of dollars for a plate carrier. And even though this is kind of a basic setup, I think for $40, it's really money well spent. So if you're looking for a piece of gear that has the potential to last you for a long time, then uh, I would definitely check this out. You know, it's surprisingly comfortable. Uh, if I flip this over in the back, I don't have my plates in here, obviously, so I can hold this up because some of the steel plates, as you know, uh, can be very heavy. But you can see it's very comfortable. It has a nice mesh to it right here. Uh, it's easy to get the armor in and out. Okay, so all you do is this, slide your armor up inside. Okay, let's see if I can get that on there. You slide your armor in there, and then you bring this up and fold it in. Uh, I believe the armor that I use is a 10 by 12 armor, and it fits in here absolutely perfect. It basically just goes wall to wall on this. Uh, it is comfortable. Even on the on the front side, you can see it's pretty much the same thing. We have a breathable uh, mesh fabric right here with a little bit of padding. So there is some padding. If you don't have like a trauma plate and you're running steel armor, you do get a little bit of a padding right there. And then again on the shoulders, so you can see that the shoulders actually have really nice padding on them as well, and it's it's extremely comfortable. The only downside, I think I may have mentioned this in my original review, the only downside to this is it can be a little bit cumbersome, a little bit thick if you're going to be stacking gear. So if you decide to leave this completely blank right here and let's say run a chest rig on top of your plate carrier, then it can add up and get a little bit thick right here. But as it runs on its own, it's fantastic. As you can see, it does have a spot for your hydration hose or whatever cables you might need to run through here on both sides. You can see that I do have my hydration running through this side right here and it holds it in really nice. The adjustments are fairly easy. All you have to do is, as you can see, take this off, rip that up, adjust it, slap it back down, and you're good to go. I have mine adjusted pretty tight because you want to make sure that your armor is about uh, parallel with your 
collarbones. So you want to make sure that you're not running your armor too low because you could leave certain uh, organs exposed. So you want to run it up high kind of to where your collarbones are. That's about where I keep mine. And that will help protect your vital organs from the collarbones all the way down to about the bottom of your lungs. So uh, something to keep in mind. So a lot of adjustment, very comfortable. And again, surprisingly durable, surprisingly durable for, uh, you know, an item. I, I know a lot of people will look at Condor and say, oh, you know, it's inexpensive or it's airsoft. And I got to be honest, I've had a lot of Condor products. Uh, you might have seen my video about the inexpensive battle belt recently. Uh, I've had a lot of products in Condor and not a single one has ever given me problem. Obviously, I haven't run anything in combat, you know, I haven't gone out to Iraq or Afghanistan. But the stuff that I do on the Mojave Desert and the training that I've done with this particular gear, it has always served me well. So I thought this would be something to show you guys uh, my Condor Sentry plate carrier after almost two years of use. Definitely something worth checking out. Again, I'll put links in the description box. And if you like videos like this where I kind of update you as to the condition of my gear or items after a longer period of time, let me know in the description box. That way I can make more videos or not make any more videos about this specific topic. But I thought you guys might be interested to see kind of that update. Anyway, thank you all very much for watching. I really appreciate it. Please like, subscribe. Have a great day.